nation. Demarco put out an invitation to clash. Fully bad are the first artist we take it up. And based off of what a lot of people are saying, Fully bad doing thump up Demarco face wicked in the clash. Your pussy face now, nah, Mr. Sasquatch. Bring this a rod, but like Christopher Quark. Get the high and you're so grease on the engine alone. And then you're gonna bust a puck G on your phone. Yeah, it seems as if most of the people might give Demarco the victory. But I'm sure Fully bad fans would beg to differ. Hey yo, Fully bad pussy, you're not bad. This only prove you mad. Step to a giant. What you do? Make me school the lad. My cloud two in a your face, me never use a rag Hogs, brands, pen and cats have a piece Who's it that? Now it seems as if dancehall artist Coyote step up to the plate Releasing a diss track aimed at dancehall artist DeMarco Have you never yet? Brief a shooter man Pick for not the week of fuck Yo them good a yo to run fish Could you come from a valley a must a tuna can Chip, Pamiga, Kibeli, Biga, Kona, Junior Gang Y'all yeah, familiar with that one, we shared that one in the previous reports But now DeMarco replying to Coyote Apart from the Instagram messages and so on the marker released the track titled Airline, which is of course a this track aimed at dancehall artist Coyote. The pan belly full of can down in the earth fit him. I know this same pan where your father jerk chicken. But them are ready to road, baby get dirt with him in my mind. Cause I start war with the worst with him. When the rifle a ton on, boom, strike you the pig on and got trouble the soup pot. Now what I for a couple can We gone far and we no kick off the report. Huh, that style they start to become a trend. Should we stop it or should we continue? Still, Tef near Shandy Entertainment Feed Community, Wagwan, where they are on the Thursday Spotlight Thursdays. Community members, enough love and blessings on the Thursday. I hope you are doing alright. Where they are once again with the ENT News, the hot topics, the updates. With that said, on to the topics. Might as well get RT Boss out of the way you now. RT Boss, he took to social media where he shared this picture of uh, him with Spice. You see on top, at Spice Official, happy birthday, blessings, one queen. RT Boss shared that with the caption stating, when you're celebrating your friend's birthday and she still don't acknowledge you, fire. We're moving on. LA Lewis fails to show up for court. This one is courtesy of the Jamaica cleaner, entertainer Horace LA Lewis. Was a no show for his case in the St. Catherine Parish Court on Thursday, Lewis is charged with breaches of the Toll Roads Act. When the matter was called up at 10.45 am, Lewis was not present. Attorney Orville Morgan told the court that he had tried to contact his client, Lewis, but to no avail. The entertainment feed community, L.A. Lewis, later shared the same article on his Instagram profile with the caption stating, God is my judge, not man. You know where to find me. I not hiding. Thank you. Bye. What is wrong with L.A. Lewis? <laughs> and is this man truly above the law? The entertainment feed community stated thoughts on that to moving on. This time we gone over the Jamaica star. Alice says she is returning to Crab Circle. Despite the backlash she has received because of unsanitary practices, popular vendor Alice said she will be returning to Crab Circle when it reopens next Thursday. Reacting to that, Mayor of Kingston, Delroy Williams, he had this to say to Alice saying that she will return at Crab Circle next Thursday. Williams replying to the Star's post, he wrote, To purchase, surely not as a vendor. The vendors who are returning have met with the council, completed certification by heart, and have done the necessary food handlers training. She has not. Alyssa certainly not. And she thought that herself, big and bold, make that known. She was recently featured on the Total Package show where she spoke on the situation. According to Alice, she never went nowhere. She sent her daughter instead. Um, would you be going back to your circle? Um, what are they doing? Did they have a meeting? What happened? They have a meeting with right. Desmond Mackenzie over there. Mm -hmm. So I called my daughter so, and I called my daughter and then tell about the meeting. Them go, so you didn't go to the meeting? No, I mm -hmm. made when I got food angle, them go food anglers, mm -hmm. them go art, mm -hmm. go get surfing ticket. Mm -hmm. I tell them that I don't want to surf ticket because I can't cook already. <laughs> No, you're saying that. But let us continue with what Delroy Williams, mayor of Kingston, had to say. The position of the KSM Corp on this matter was communicated by the vendors when we met. But in the event there's uncertainty, let me be clear any attempt to facilitate or have Miss Alice Waugh or any other untrained and uncertified vendor at Crop Circle will result in the municipality shutting down all operations there. The entertainment feed community stated thoughts and that's moving on. The other day, Wayne Marshall was interviewed by Twin of Twins on the cut. They questioned Wayne Marshall and him receiving the Art of Distinction. To watch a longer version of the video I'm about to show you, simply watch one of our previous reports. A link will be provided in the description of the video so you can go ahead and check that out. But still, just a little reminder. 
twin of twins approach Wayne Marshall about his OD. It, 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 no, it's, it's obviously not about the songs. Criteria of it. Well, I wouldn't know because me not on the board for, for select who get OD from who not get OD. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I can say that I have put my all into the music. All right, so on the board, where you know so far? May I interview you now? <laughs> See, <laughs> no, this interview is not about me. <laughs> Decide who forget OD. I have no idea. It's a whole... But, maybe it's a whole... but, but you do understand how the general pushback. Now we have Dr. Led stating that Wayne Marshall is delusional. So this whole other distinction thing with Wayne Marshall, I promised myself I wasn't going to speak on it. But I just came across a clip with two of the brightest minds in Jamaica, twin of twins, having a dialogue with Wayne Marshall. And within 90 seconds, they proved everything that the Jamaican public has been saying. Wayne Mitchell does not know why he was awarded, how he was awarded, who awarded him and what merit he was awarded. That man blank to the world, blank to everything that's happening. He went on to say he had no clue of the requirements. He had no clue of the reason why he was awarded. But in the same conversation, Wayne Marshall was quoted as saying, people are discrediting his contribution an accomplishment. Remember, you know, accomplishment. If you, Wayne Marshall, think that all that distinction that you received is an accomplishment, please go sit down with L.A. Lewis. You're delusional. You're saying the people cannot compare to other artists who have great songs under their belt. Then on what merit were you awarded? Some people talk about philanthropy. Where? Are you a greater philanthropist than Bounty Killer? Let's say Sizzla, let's say Capitan. Are you a greater humanitarian than the angel? No, you're not. So on what basis were you awarded all that distinction? If you were able to clarify that, then the Jamaican public would have understood. But now, instead of understanding what the twins are trying to say to you that win, they are not discrediting you. They are saying you skip the line. They are talking about them not skipping, they're not skipping the line, it was your time, your time. So your time came before Bounty Killer, Beanie Man. Yeah? Capitan, yeah? Sizzler, yeah? Anthony B, yeah? Charlie Blacks, yeah? What contribution have you made to merit all that distinction? Yet to be talking about accomplishment. You thought you accomplished something when the Big political favoritism took place and you receive an award Wayne Marshall? Come on man, humble about it, brother. And speak more subtle about it, my G. Honestly. Well, the entertainment feed community. The last thing we are gonna look at in this report. A fan of Dexter Dabs. Share a story on how she got Dexter Dabs jacket in Toronto. So TikTok, me decided to say, come and make a little video in on a Dexter Dabs jacket. So this is a jacket, yeah. Dexter Dabs wore this jacket on his trilogy tour in Toronto, Rebel. This was last night. So you want to say, I'm so happy. Dexter take off the jacket. The man dashed the jacket in the crowd. The jacket land right in my face, TikTok. What me say? Right in my face, the jacket land. So my friend was there. So she will land on the jacket. Me have the jacket. So some other girl decides, say, she will run up from the front. She want the jacket. And they decide, say, me not let go the jacket. The jacket dropped on my face. My good, good, nice, clean, pretty face. I mean, Dexter won't get the jacket. Dexter look for me and Dexter just fling the jacket right in my face. So me said, I not let go the jacket. The girl said she not let go the jacket. So one piece of tug and war. And we were there for about, I mean, I think it was like 20 or 30 minutes left for the show. At that point, me not care where Dexter was sing, say. Me just know that I have the jacket. But look how the jacket fit me. Look how the man jacket sit down for me. The jacket looked like I said, take my measurement and make it. The, the, the jacket belonged to me. So the girl, she's like holding on to the jacket. She was like, I just want to take a picture with the jacket. I just want to put it on and take a picture. I said, put on what? Where you going to put the jacket, girl? The girl bigger than me. So I said, where you going to put the jacket? Must pay a big toy. I going to put it. Girl, you're not going to get the jacket. Me decide, say, last night me make up my mind TikTok and say, never sleep in a rebel. The security never go come and dash me out with a nice, nice Dexter that jacket. I said, all right then. The girl now let go, my friend now let go. I said, all right. 
Here we go. We'll cut the jacket in a three. So the three away can each get a piece of the jacket. We did it. So my friend said the only way I'm letting go, she was talking to the other girl, the only way I'm letting go is if Dexter take off him shirt and dash it and it lick me in my face. Then we can let go the jacket. Me say, eh, eh, me not care what nobody say. My mind was already made up because I was not letting go off the jacket. So the girl finally give up and say, you know what? You guys can have the jacket. Me say, look on the jacket, pound me. People, the top people, me say me happy. I am so unbothered today. Me say nothing at all now bother me in this world. Me have a Dexter that jacket. All of the people then who love Dexter, want to see it here? Dexter love me. Look how the little jacket cute and sit down for me. And they say, I'm going to dress up a little jacket, put on a little boot. And I know if you can't see it, see it. Eh? One little boot in my van. And we just put on one little stocking. One little piece of shorts and one little, um, what do you call this? One little top under the jacket. Make a pull back the ear so you can't see the jacket. Make a pull back the ear. You know, look on the jacket. Look on the jacket. Take a good look. Take a good look. When I walk up, take a good look. When I look on the jacket, people, I say me so happy. TikTok, I'm so happy. I am so happy. Oh my God. I say, and I have to tell you before I go, the jacket smell good. I don't know what kind of cologne. Dexter, please make me know what kind of cologne they use. I said the something smell good. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have some other videos that I'm just going to upload them, but I just want to come on here and talk. Oh, I mean, catch the jacket. Yes, there was a little whatever going on. But at the end of the night, if the turn in was a person, I would have me. I didn't let go the jacket. The jacket come home with me. See the people? The jacket that Dexter wear is a top man, size 34. I'm looking at it, yes, size 34. Look how nice. So happy. The woman love her jacket. Love the jacket that she got from Dexter. Here is her at work a few weeks later. You know the jacket. Nia Shana. That's right for now. You see what time a clock, you see what time an aqua or you can get the f out of here. And as usual, my people. Whoop whoop. That's the sound of the police. Hey.